Hey guys, welcome back. So, get back in your place, sir. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a review on the new Carity Smoky Eye Palette, and I love this palette. Um, there's 21 shimmer and matte shades in this palette so you can get pretty much any look that you desire which is my favorite kind of palette because I hate when palettes have straight up either just shimmer shades or straight up matte shades I like when they have a little bit of a a little bit of both a little selection there so I'm gonna be going ahead I'm gonna be going ahead what am I talking about so I'm gonna be swatching everything for you guys kinda telling you about each shadow that I swatch I also have some individual shadows from Carity as well and also, I will say there are some really great MAC dupes in this palette and in the individual shades, so I will be sure to show you guys the dupes. So I actually took the time and I went to the MAC store for you guys and I swatched the MAC eyeshadows on my arm. That reminded me of the Carity palette eyeshadows and then I swatched the Carity eyeshadows on my arm and then I put them side by side in the natural lighting. You can see um, how similar they really are. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a little section for the MAC dupes. And I also am just going to show you a straight up review on the palette. So if you guys want to see a review on the palette and some MAC dupes, then please keep watching. So here we are. It says Smokey on the front of it. On the back, it has a list of all the names. Sorry, my nails are just jacked. Don't look at them. But on the back, it has a list of the names of all the eyeshadows. And it has some information about Carity.com. And inside, we have all of these amazing colors. It almost reminds me of the Morphe Brushes palettes, the way it's set up. Um, some of the colors do... Actually, hold on. Let me pull it out real quick. I'm going to drive myself crazy. Okay. So, after comparing the two palettes together, like... As you can see, they kind of have the same setup. This is really awkward. Um, so as you can see, this color really reminds me of the Morphe Brushes palette color, and I kind of like screwed it up, so don't really look at it. But um, I'm gonna just touch them both and see if they are the same shadow. And feeling them, like you can see that they kind of wow, I made a huge mess. Only look at these two fingers. Um, so yeah, looking at them, they do look at the same color, but I can honestly tell that the Carity one is a lot more velvety. It's a lot more finely milled, so it's a lot easier to blend, I can already tell. So they're not the same shadows, in case you were wondering. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into swatches. The first color that we're going down the line is Birthday Suit, which is a fitting name because it's a nice matte kind of nudie color. I think it's a great color to have in any eyeshadow palette because you can use it for multiple things. You can use it as a straight up lid color. You can use it underneath your brow and blend out any harsh lines and kind of highlight your brow bone. So it's just nice to have a matte cream color in any eyeshadow palette. So that's a plus right there. The next eyeshadow down the line is ABC, which is an awesome kind of corally matte color. And it is super, super pigmented, as you guys can see. And that's actually a fun one, because I don't have anything like that in my collection. I have I have some orange shades, but this one's more of a corally color, so I think it's kind of fun. The next one is MERS. Swatching this one, it does have a little bit of shimmer to it. I would say it's kind of a pearl finish. And it's almost similar to Birthday Suit, the first one that we swatched, but only it's a little bit more pearlized and has a little bit of shimmer to it. So I think that would be a really nice lid color if you're going for a nice natural look. Next, we have Court Sand. Court Sand. Can I read? I think it's called Court Sand. <laughs> it's kind of a really cool light purpley color. Oh my gosh, it's so pigmented. <laughs> it has kind of a pink undertone, more, more of a magenta undertone. You know what? Now that I swatch it, it looks like a magenta to me but a little bit of a cooler tone magenta. So it does have a bit of a shimmer to it, but nothing that really has like flecks of shimmer. Super, super pigmented. So I'm really impressed with that shade. Up next we have Bleh, Bleh, B-L, B-L-A-U-E, Bleh. So we don't know if we're saying that right, but just go with it guys, just go with it. Oh my good God. This one is so pigmented. Now you only need a light hand with this one because I can tell if you put too much on it may be a little chalky for you. But once you use a light hand with it, oh my gosh, it's so pigmented. It's kind of a royal blue color. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, but nothing to the point where it's like flex the sparkle as well. So yeah, that one is so pretty. Next there's Provoke and it's kind of a shimmery green color. 
That one's really pretty too. It almost has flecks of gold shimmer in it, so it's kind of like a seafoam green with gold shimmer, which kind of makes it a grass green color, so that's kind of fun to have in my collection too. Um, some nice bright shades mixed with some neutral shades, so that's kind of a plus in my book, so if I want to do something dramatic and bright, I can. If I want to stick to the neutrals and make a smoky eye, I can totally do that too, and I'm making a mess. Up next, we have the perfect crease color. This is, let me read it unspoken so this is a perfect cool tone matte brown really really silky to the touch really velvety and super pigmented so I think that'd be perfect to really carve out your crease uh, this is probably my favorite color out of the whole entire palette all right and up next we have stargasm and this is kind of a shimmery cream color and that one is so pretty too. I think you're definitely going to need a primer with this. Of course you're going to need a primer with any eyeshadow that you're using. And just because it's going to make it more pigmented. It's going to make your eyeshadow last longer. And you won't have any creasing throughout the day. But um, I think this one with a primer underneath it would be fantastic. Up next we have kind of this rusty orange color. This is a matte eyeshadow color. And this is so velvety. So pigmented. I love how all of these eyeshadows are super finely milled. It's really impressive that they are so inexpensive and they are really high quality to me. So I just know that I'm going to be doing a lot of looks for, with this palette for you guys. So get ready. Um, up next we have this awesome bright shocking pink color. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm dying. So pretty. So this is a matte bright Barbie pink. It's like straight up hot pink. And I think this would be really pretty. It's kind of an intimidating color, like you're not going to wear this every day. But if you maybe pop a little bit of it in your inner corner, just want a little pop of pink, I think that'd be super cute. I wish I put my swatches in the right spot. I'm sorry. Oh, and the pink one is called Tasty. The next one is Scandal, which is a really beautiful kind of shimmery, pearlized plum color. This would be perfect for your Kim K smoky eye. Up next we have Yabba. Oh my gosh, this one's so fun, guys. This is a kind of, oh my gosh, it feels so velvety that it almost feels wet. Like, have you ever tried an eyeshadow like that? Like, good, good God. So, yeah. This one just glides on like butter. Like, beautiful. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. I wouldn't necess necessarily say that it's pearlized. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a pearl eyeshadow. It is super velvety, super pigmented, and amazing. Up next, we have this really fun Kelly Green color. This is called Fetish. I also don't have anything like this in my collection. It's just such a fun, pigmented, bright green color. Bam. Is that, like, bright or is that bright? Okay. Next, we have this really, really cool... It's, like, a gray color, but it has actual sparkles in it, which is really neat. It has actual flecks of silver sparkles in it, and it comes off as kind of a gray, kind of charcoal color. Up next, we have this amazing color called Radioactive. When it comes to yellows, they can be so freaking crappy. Like, like, I have so many yellow eyeshadows in my collection, but they're all just chalky, and they don't show up in my eye, so um, I can definitely see myself rocking this bad boy, maybe popping it in the corner of my eye. Hello. Up next, we have Tarte, which is the perfect, perfect transition color. So it's great that I have a transition color and I have a actual crease color in there to give some more definition. So this almost has a plum undertone. It's definitely a cool tone color. And this one is also a matte shade. Next, we have Burlesque, which is a really fitting name because it's a really fun kind of cranberry maroon color. I think this one is so much fun for the fall and the holidays. Just putting a little pop of this in your outer corner would be amazing. Um, this one is a matte shade, and it's so pigmented. Up next, we have probably my favorite color in the whole palette. This is called PDA. Good lord, guys. Good lord. Look at this purple. It is so pigmented. Um, this one is almost a little bit chalky, but if you really build it up, it really doesn't matter. It's kind of... Like a Barney purple. Like, I love the cool tone purples. Gosh, I'm going to get pink and purples all over my face. Um, but it's kind of like a Barney purple, straight up cool tone purple. It's matte, of course, which is awesome. So I think that would be super fun to just pop a little, pop a little color in your outer crease or inner crease just for some fun. Next, we have Jinx. So in Jinx, I can see purple flags, some navy flags. 
It's kind of an interesting color because when it hits the light, it can be, you know, it could be either kind of a plum color or it could be navy. It's kind of interesting. Next, we have Rude Boy, and this one is really beautiful. It's kind of like a, it kind of reminds me of Jade from, I think it's the Lorac Pro 2 palette. This one is so pigmented and velvety. I'm going to just stop saying it's pigmented. If I run across one that's not pigmented, I'll let you know. Um, but it's really, really soft when I feel this one. It almost feels wet as well because it's so smooth. This has kind of a pearl finish. Really pretty. It's kind of an olivey gold color. And the last palette, of course, you have to have a matte black. So we have Cougar here to fill in the job for us. Really finely milled and good. Oh my gosh, this is my the best black that I have out of my whole entire collection, which is saying a lot. This is just so opaque and black, and it's matte, of course. Um, it's so black. I can't get over it. So if you're looking for a really pigmented matte black eyeshadow, you need to get this palette. So that is all the eyeshadow swatches from the palette. Let's go ahead and move on to the individual shades that I have. Anyways, this is what the packaging looks like for the individual eyeshadows, what they come in. It says the name on here as well. Pull it out and you have it inside this little tiny casing and you can just lift up this flap and there you have your eyeshadow. So this is in the color Super Freak. This is an amazing kind of um, taupey brown color. This is a great transition color. I'll swatch it right here. I can definitely see myself using this as my transition color. It's just a really nice kind of matte taupey brown. Up next we have this really bright matte pink color. This is in the color Shameless. Kind of reminds me of the one in the palette, the bright pink color, but only it's a little bit of a deeper tone. Oh wow, that's probably the best pink that I've ever seen in my life. It's so pigmented and it's really finely milled. Can you just see that right there? Get out of get out of here guys. Get out of here. Up next I have brownstone. So this next one is a taupey gray color. It has a satin finish. Looks like that. I see brown undertones in it too so this would be kind of nice for a smoky eye if you're going for kind of that smoky kind of sexy look. So this one right here is Tootsie and this is just a really nice creamy satin finished cream color. It's kind of hard to see in my skin tone because I'm white as a butt, but um, that's a really great color for a lid color or underneath the brow to highlight it. So that's it for the eyeshadows. Let's go ahead and move on to the MAC dupe portion. Alright guys, so here we have our MAC dupes. On the left is Carity, on the right is MAC. Honestly, if you put them both in front of me, I could not tell the difference. It's crazy how spot on these dupes are, so let's go ahead and break it down and get into it. First up, we have Tarte, which is a dupe for Hoax, and this is a great crease color, really great for a transition color. Next up, we have MERS, which is a dupe for Vex. The next dupe is Provoke, which is a dupe for swimming, and I actually preferred the Carity one over the MAC one. I noticed the MAC one is almost a little bit chalky. Next, Stargasm is an amazing dupe for Goblet. Very, very similar textures and both really shimmery, kind of goldy cream colors. Next up we have Mr. Brownstone, which is a dupe for Smut, and it's really great to just kind of carve out your crease. It's a nice, cool tone brown. Up next is Tootsie, which is a dupe for Rice Paper, really great satin finish creamy color. We have Fetish as a dupe for Deep Truth, really awesome blue color with flecks of purple in it. Last but not least, we have Super Freak, which is a dupe for Wedge, a nice warm tone matte brown color. There will be more dupes listed below for you guys. The Mac store I went to did not have all the colors I was looking for, so I couldn't swatch them, so be sure to check that out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye. For you guys, so you guys, 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 I'm always saying that. In here. Always. Hey guys, welcome back. Back. Welcome back.